most IFR flights end with a visual approach, which seems kind of funny considering that most of your IFR training centers on shooting an instrument approach. But think about it. How often do you hear visual approaches are in effect on ATIS, even when it's cloudy? The weather's usually good enough to break you out of the clouds before you hit ATC's minimum vectoring altitude. The visual approach keeps traffic moving. There's no need to join a published approach course. And if the weather is above the local minimum IFR in route or vectoring altitude, and the visibility is above three statute miles, expect ATC to clear you for the visual approach. All you need is the airport or the preceding aircraft in sight. Cirrus 4 Alpha November, expedite your descent to 8,000, please. Yeah, we'll speed it up 4 Alpha November. Sirius 4 Alpha November, thank you. Do you have the airport in sight, 8 o'clock and 1 zero one? Yes, we do. Sirius 4 Alpha November, we do. Sirius 4 Alpha November, thank you. No delay on the descent. Turn left, heading zero one zero to final. Cleared visual approach, runway 34 left. Okay, left zero one zero and uh, cleared for the visual, 34 left, and we're expediting our descent, 4 Alpha November. There's four off and over things. Yes, you probably no delay through about 7,000, and then you'll be probably on a good rate for descent then. No delay through 7,000, no problem. Four off and over. Thank you. Technically, for a visual approach, the reported ceilings need to be at or above 1,000 feet and the visibility at or above three statute miles. If the airport doesn't have reported weather, ATC can still clear you for a visual approach if they have reasonable assurance that the weather is at or above 1,000 feet and three miles at your destination. In this case, they'll use pilot reports or other weather observations in the area. You need the airport or the preceding aircraft in sight. So, here we are arriving at Rocky Mountain Metro KBJC. The weather is 7,000 feet scattered, 1,000 broken, and 10 miles of visibility. Visual approaches are in effect. Metro, put information India 2347 Zulu observation. Weather wind 330 at Niner, visibility 10. Sky condition 7,000, scattered, ceiling 1, 1,000, broken. Temperature 1, 5, dew point 9 altimeter 3023. Visual approach in use, landing and departing, runway 30 right. Notice to airman, runway 30 left, closed, runway 220, closed. NATC is trying to clear us for the visual. Tim, right there. Yep. Sirius 3 Golf Papa, you're following traffic 2 to 3 o'clock, 4 miles, still southeast bound, turning south to join the base at a 7,000 Challenger. 3 Golf Papa, we're looking. Number 3 Golf Papa, descend and maintain 7,000, flatting 190. Descend and maintain 7,000 and 190, Sirius 3 Golf Papa. 7,000. Sirius 3 Golf Papa, the Adventure Airport in sight, 2 to 3 o'clock and 8 miles. Uh, not yet. We're still looking. Three golf pop. I got the jet. One side. center zero. Where's the jet? Center center. Cardinal two six four three Victor with you at seven thousand. So he is just north of the lake. Cardinal two six four three Victor, Denver approach. Metroidus information. India now current. Which I lost him. He was on the north side of that lake, but I lost him in a haze. But the sun's working against us. We don't have the Challenger, and looking into the sun, we don't even have the airport. With the light hitting the mist, we can't pick out the runway. Sirius 3 Golf Papa, turn right, heading 270, intercept the runway 30 right, localizer. 270, we'll intercept the localizer, 3 Golf Papa. Southwest 2829, contact Denver Center, 128.65, good day. 2865, Southwest 2829, good day. So now what? The answer is a contact approach. It's flown the same way as a visual, but you don't need the airport in sight. You need to be clear of clouds, have one statute mile of flight visibility, and reasonably expect to continue to the airport in those conditions. Which we are. I can see the ponds by Metro, we're clear of the clouds, and I'm positive that I can make it to Metro in those conditions. Plus, to fly a contact approach to an airport, the airport needs a published instrument approach procedure, even though you're not following it. In this case, Rocky Mountain Metro has several, so no problem there. The tricky part about a contact approach? There's no missed approach procedure, so if you can't make it to the airport staying clear of clouds, you're in trouble. If you ask for it, you should be positive you're going to make it in. Otherwise, fly a published instrument approach. Here's the catch. ATC can't initiate the contact approach. You have to ask for it. And considering that this doesn't happen very often, I didn't even think about it. So I start to join the localizer. And then I have the airport in sight. Sarah 3 Golf Papa, would you just prefer the ILS? Uh, three Golf Papa, we just got the airport in sight. 
Sierra City Golf Hopper, Roger. Cleared visual for runway 30 right. Contact Metro Tower 118.6. Clear for the visual approach over to Metro Tower 186. Thanks for the help. Good night. Once we landed, I realized I could have flown the contact approach, which I've never done in over 2,000 hours of flying. I've taught about it, but I've never flown it. I'll have to remember it for next time.